for it's Serena Francisco who wins the match by nine frames to six and goes through to tomorrow's final. So a moment of extreme joy for Mr. and Mrs. Silvino Francisco. Silvino into his first major final, uh, getting duly rewarded by Denise, his wife. Congratulations indeed, uh, Silvino. Marvellous performance. Um, Jimmy White, Tony Mio, and now the great Alex Higgins. What are your feelings just at this moment? Oh, the better luck Kirk Stevens tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you're looking ahead already, are you? I'm looking ahead, yes. I suppose the foundation of the success was um, your 5-2 lead by the end of the afternoon, really? Yes. That helped very much, yes. Why I'd do you think you actually went ahead so, so much in the afternoon? Well, Alex missed a lot of shots, which he normally gets, and I capitalised on it. That's about all. Do you think he underestimated you? I don't think so. You can ask him. I will, I'm alongside there. Obviously, you were not uh, at peak form this afternoon, 5-2 down at uh, the interval. That wasn't a good sign at all, was it, Alex? No, the, this afternoon, it's one of the... There used to be a thing on television, the comedians, and the brunt of all the jokes was uh, dead people in bus shelters in Morecambe. I think they had them all transported from Morecambe to Derby today because the audience was so flat. I, I just couldn't raise a gallop. In fact, you don't like playing in the afternoon, do you, really? Oh, no, I don't mind playing the afternoon because I'm trying to uh, rehabilitate myself at this game. So, the, no, it was so dead this afternoon. I mean, it, the audience seemed to... It, it looked to me like they were all on Valium. You know, so, <laughs> you know, I, well, I, it certainly wasn't dead this evening, Suvina, because, I mean, there was a good deal of support for Alex. In fact, there was a slight problem at one point, wasn't there? Um, well, you always go with a big crowd like that, I suppose. It does happen now and again. The one bloke had just a bit too much to drink, that's all it was. And I think at one point you went up to apologise too, didn't you, Alex? It was a rather oh, nice gesture. Yeah, yeah, because mm. a friend of mine was sent telling the guy to shush. And that's where an argument sort of became. And mm. uh, I told my friend to leave as well. I said, look, there's no good talking to people like that. You leave as well. And let the people that are supposed to look after that situation sort of day. Now, what about the, the controversy in the 11th frame, uh, which uh, I know is one that Alex is uh, feeling very strongly about. You were leading 6-4, um, and I think you were 24, 24 points, points up, the and there was yellow. the business of the free ball. Tell us what actually happened. Uh. Well, when I placed the ball on the yellow spot, to me it was a free ball, and he said, no, free ball, and I asked him to have another look. Of course, when he had another look, he said, right, free he ball. Put, he put the red alongside it. He put the red alongside it. And he judged it, and you could see it was a free ball. What, what do you feel about that, Alex? I'm certain it wasn't a free ball. I would bet all the ten China. But there again, you see, uh, it's very difficult uh, for me and for the individual, i.e. Salvino, and the referee, because, like, uh, I noticed John had a look. I had a look as soon as I'd played the shot, and I thought, no free ball, so I was relieved. Uh, uh, John Williams looked at it, and... It, he had a look and walked away, and you said, sort of no, and referees, no, it's not a free ball. And then Silvino did ask for a free ball, and he was refused the free ball. And then, of course, the red bit happened. Mm. So, I mean, like, I, he's, he's had, it seems very inconsistent, the referee, and under the circumstances. And I think I did ask for a second opinion, but the man was uh, very brash about the whole thing. He said, no, I'm the senior referee. No, you can't. And, and to me, for the type of money we're playing for, uh, I, I think you should be allowed a, a second opinion. Uh, if it came to a situation where Silvino, for instance, flipped ten balls, you have to accept that. Fair enough, because that's part of the game. But good refereeing is essential, and I think uh, they make me uh, produce a certificate for my psychosis barber, whatever it is. I'm, I'm going to insist when we have a meeting that uh, referees at certain times take regular eye tests because it's either he needs one or John Williams needs one. Well, anyway, the referee's decision, of course, was eventually final, so you got your free ball. Just two very brief questions. A, a weakening experience today, do you think that's going to uh, weaken your chance tomorrow in the final because it's been such a long one? No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm looking forward to the final. I've got to the final, my first ever final, and I'm going to enjoy myself out there tomorrow. And what about Kirk Stevens as an opponent? Very good player. Very good player. Tremendous potter. Just hope to beat him, that's all. You've never played him before? I've never played him before, no. Well, it's amazing you should meet him in your first, first final and his first too. final, too. Yeah. We look forward to tomorrow. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you may very much I indeed, Alex. May I just wish the man good luck? Of course you may. Because you've got nothing to do with referee. <laughs> <laughs> <Good luck. laughs> so, cheers. Thank, Thank you. Steve. Thanks both.